Poor Julia. I know. I, but, but although Julia's okay now. Yes, she is. She's like accepted. She's accepted everything and she seems to be doing really well. Poor Stella. <laughs> yeah. You signed on probably knowing a decent amount about like what you were in for, right? No, I not, not at all. Wow. You know, no, we still don't know. You know, we're on episode we're shooting right now four. And we don't like that's all our yeah. We definitely have to be. Well I mean like in terms of like one of the books already being published and like kind of knowing where Celia was that the show was so so much changed it. What were you told it was gonna be different? Like not at the beginning? We thought we were signing off. <laughs> so where do we find uh, Julia now? Um, Julia is... We, we all start the season as not ourselves. Um, you get to see a lot of Julia with Dean Fogg. Uh, and sort of like in the linear timelines of what her life would have been like had she did go the route of Great Bills and that whole story arc, which is kind of interesting. It's only like a little too easy to see it, but you kind of get like enveloped in these other worlds for a second, which is nice. Um, and everybody is sort of trying to, to bring back magic for like for the universal purposes, not not for her goddess power necessarily, but just for everyone. So everyone can kind of share this thing, and it's not being held by the library, which is cool. No, so far she doesn't, which is really cool and admirable. Like I admire her for that, that she's able to kind of like let it go and be okay and like give up this thing to save everyone that she loved and you know have the mentality of I am an endless source of power and I don't need this to be great. I'm sure it's frustrating like on a trivial in a trivial way of like god damn it like I I I could be able to do all these like these things and this useful like I'm this useful source but yet like my you know my battery's out. So I think like as far as that works, like the brain part of that is frustrating, but I don't think that she emotionally is at all burdened by it. And like Estella and like what? Like you gave up being a goddess, are you nuts? Like no. But she's awesome. Good for her. I wish. I enjoyed Quentin and Julia kind of working as a team. My that, was, my that was a really good arc. I have such an affinity towards that man. I love him. He's so cool. He's one of my best friends. And he's like such a good husband and such a good uh, such a good partner, you know, but we have a blast. We didn't get to start working together this season until episode three. But um we like find each other again and it's like nothing ever changed. I'm always like root secretly rooting that Julia and Quentin like wind up together. I don't think it'll ever happen. But you never know. You never know. No. No, I, I never yeah. even up guessing anything on the show. Me too. It'd be a cool yeah. thing. Yeah. I'd like that. It'd be really cool. If they had an ending like six feet under and they flash forward to the very end yeah. and you see them just getting married, like these vignettes of like, they're like old together. We've already died once. So. Yeah. Oh, that's that's different yeah. Different yeah. 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 So, obviously, everybody's kind of uh, tight lipped about where they're going with the car. So, if you could choose where your character is going this, this next season, if you were writing it, where, where would you take her? I would have taken her last season. I would have spent the entire season being me and Goth. I would have loved to have done that. And didn't talk at all. And just had a mind As an actress, like, how cool would that be to literally not have a single piece of dialogue but do everything? Everything, like with your face, with, with, your, your, face, body, with your body, yeah. with just like your energy. <laughs> man, Daniel Day, man, you know. Yeah. Um, so I would have done that season two, and then this, you know, or this or season three. Yeah, that would have been season two, three, season two, three, and then I would have had her become a goddess. And like, I, if I were writing it, I'd like to be in Fillory, talking to birds. I'd have a bird as like a friend, and I would just be like in it. Like, you know, Lady Gaga, horror story vibe, like, just, you know, wild. It's a 
great big play touch story to us. Yeah. So, get her to Fillory at least, and then go from here. I just want to be in Fillory. I'm yeah. done being a street person. It's enough. <laughs> I grew up in New York. I'm tired. Like, take me to the magical forest, please. <laughs> the animals and the mushrooms. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who was running? I know that's why that's what got me thinking. I was like, wait, I like, I wished Esme had played, she played Why I'm a Um It would have been nice to have her. I don't know. I, gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> I don't know because everyone's done such a bad job of controlling Hillary. It's like the hierarchy's not too great. Um, I guess I'd have, I would have had Quentin running it. He probably would make a great, he would have had that, he would have had it run smoothly and protected the people and been like political with it. You know, he wouldn't have been emotional, he wouldn't have made emotional decisions. He would have made the, I think, I think he would have made the How do you think Julia would have done as the high the As a, um, as lady of the trees and a goddess, I think she would have been great there. As Julia, <laughs> they just put her back to Brooklyn. It's like, that makes sense. Yes. You know. <laughs> what, was your, what was your favorite episode of last I loved last season so much. All of it. To be, to be a part, like that was my favorite. It was just so nice. Um, I can't pinpoint a specific episode per se, but the whole, it's like the season was so good. Like I really, I thoroughly was the happiest I've ever been working for this, for the show. Season three. So that B story, that really, for that whole arc. I loved it. I thought they really wrote it really well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 all the moving pieces there, you got it. You know. there, was, there, was a, there was a goal, and there yes. was a storyline, and we were doing something, and, and, yeah. and, and that's what it should be. You're working your way towards something, you're, or you're letting a, a story unfold. It was constructive. Yeah. And all the colors you can bring in, too. Yeah, that's nice. It's really fun to watch. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I always like Julia. Thank you. She's not favorite, so uh, that's nice. No, to hear. no, I, I know something about her. I like her too. She's cool. Yeah. I'm from She's New York too. Well. You get it. You, you get, get it. I get, I get I'm it. from New York too. Yeah, I get it. Good. Yeah. She Julia's from New York too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. Julia's favorite child being in her daughter's. How was that playing that role over the course of being excited for the Spider-Man? Yeah. I don't know where she is now, and I don't know, like, I don't, oh god, it's hard to judge it. It's like, where is she now, and how was that? I think I was just in it. I don't know how they, I think they, you know, they wrote for it, right? But she just became less angry, I think, too. She kind of let go of a lot of the anger, and that made, made it easier to transition into something that's like, but now, like, I don't know what she is. Like, that's a, that's a good question to think about, though, for me. I'm like, I have no idea. Like, where, if somebody were to ask me season four, like, where is she at now? I don't know. It's like, what? Well, like, accepted, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess accepted. Yeah. 